Well, this morning we have an update on Indiana's vaccine rollout. The state is reaching a new milestone. More than 2 million Hoosiers are now fully vaccinated, which means about 36% of those who are eligible have already rolled up their sleeve. Here in Marion County, officials are encouraging younger adults and eligible teens to get their shot. To help out, they are now allowing walk-ins at health departments and their vaccine clinics. And the county's positivity rate has also remained steady, around 5% for the past month, which has always been the goal, of course. Meanwhile, Indianapolis is under a new public order. It went into effect last night at midnight. It allows outdoor event crowds to expand to 50% capacity, while indoor events must remain at 25% and the mask mandate is still in effect whether indoors or outdoors when social distancing is not possible. We have an update on the vaccine rollout among college students as well. Yeah, we've learned that IU's Bloomington campus won't meet its goal of vaccinating 40,000 students before they head home for the summer. The clinic at Assembly Hall has given more than 26,000 vaccinations since opening in late March. About 10,000 students are getting those shots, but demand for the vaccine has fallen. Organizers maintain the clinic is a success, saying it's a good start for the next school year. To have a mostly normal fall, which we anticipate at IU this, this fall semester, we're going to have to have an incredibly high rate of vaccine uptake. So right now we're riding that wave of enthusiasm and encouraging it. IU and other universities are deciding whether to require students to get the COVID vaccine before they return to school in the fall. And it looks like mass vaccinations will continue at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This afternoon, the state health commissioner will join IMS President Doug Bolds and IndyCar drivers Tony Kanan and Charlie Kimball for a big announcement. They'll be unveiling plans to offer free COVID-19 vaccines during the month of May. The announcement starts at 2.30. We're going to stream it online. 